Week four began Wednesday night for area teams when Midland Trail hosted Richwood. The Patriots jumping out to an early lead and maintaining momentum throughout the night. The 44-8 win moving the Patriots to 4-0. As for Thursday's games, Mount View, the top-ranked team in class single eight, made the trip to Hinton, where Summers County took a 13-7 lead into halftime before the Golden Knights came from behind to win 34-13. Their first home game is next Friday. In another come-from-behind effort, Fayetteville rallied from a 16-3 deficit to win 38-16 against Meadowbridge. The Wildcats were led in the early going behind key runs from Caleb Richmond, but the unbeaten Pirates now prepare for a trip to Wheeling Central Catholic next week. Oak Hill and Wyoming East played an instant classic in New Richmond. It was a back and forth contest in the early going with the Red Devils at one point leading 28 to 13, but the Warriors rallied to force overtime, but it was the Red Devils who moved to 4-0 with their 48-47 win. Bluefield returned from its bye week for a home matchup with Greenbrier East and the Beavers enjoying plenty of success on offense in the first quarter as they won 62-7 against the Spartans. They now move to 3-0 with back-to-back -back games in Virginia next on their schedule. Shady Spring and Independence renewed their Raleigh County rivalry on Thursday. The first half was a game of defense between the Patriots and Tigers, with Shady Spring taking a 6-3 lead into halftime before they found success on offense in the second half to win 29-3, improving to 3-1. Other games from Thursday, Westside with a home loss to Tulsa, while James Monroe collecting their first win of the season against Pikeview. Greenbrier West did lose in double overtime at Webster County, but Nicholas County stays unbeaten with their win over Lincoln, and Valley lost at Clay County.